Good morning folks, it's uh, around about 11 a.m. It's uh, 26 December 2017. We're here on the corner of uh, Barbados and Worcester Streets in the CBD, the Christchurch Central City area. Um, we're actually on the northwest corner looking towards the southeast corner. And um, this uh, block of units here, there's actually two blocks, one block's two units and the block uh, that's just to the left and the block slightly to the right, that's actually a, a block of four units. Um, the block of two units replaced what was one little wee house, a tiny house. I, I'd call it New Orleans style. It had the lovely little upstairs balcony with uh, wrought iron railing detail work. And it, obviously it was damaged badly in the um, 2011 earthquakes and later demolished. And these units have just been finished being built just a couple of weeks ago. The um, and that the where that other block of four units is just to the just to the right of the tree there. Um, that's um, there was one sort of oldish house there, full size house, but an oldish house on a small section. So they've sort of amalgamated the two sections, and uh, they've got six units. Uh, I'm not sure if there'd be one bedroom or two bedroom units. Well, um cross with the next light and we'll um, uh, just recently the Christchurch City Council known by some people at least as the uh, Christchurch Shitty Council uh, changed their rules sorry the winds got up a little bit there and um, they changed the rules so that uh, brand new home units houses can now be built with no parking facilities at all uh, this would seem to be mistaken if you ask me. Uh, I live in a multi-unit development of five two-bedroom apartments and we typically have about ten vehicles between us. Um, it's fine to say that Uber and driver uh, self-drive cars and everyone's going to start using their bikes and the electric tram that goes from nowhere to nowhere in a closed circle. Um, but <coughs> it's hard to get that cough out of the way. Um, Realistically, um, you know, we still need to have motor vehicles in the city here and, and to use them and have somewhere to park them. So, uh, you see by that uh, car parked just there, there's, being on the corner, there's a lot of yellow lines around here and, and there's a build out, I guess you'd call it, with this established tree. There's one parking space on the road close to six home units. I've been waiting for a home open to be advertised and I can go inside and maybe and take a look. They've done some little bit of um, landscaping around it. Again, probably just the bare minimum that's required for the council. Here it would have been possible to have drive on access, but they've denied it. They've planted a tree. They're probably under their requirements to have one um, larger tree, you know, two metres or more. It looks like it's a deciduous piece of rubbish that doesn't give you any food. Um, What's very disappointing with these is there's, there's not even a, a balcony, a little upstairs balcony or something. You know, it's an absolute, it looks like a prison block. It's, a, it's just a rectangular block, straight up and down, two units. Um, not even concrete for the patio, that's all right, it'll fill up with weeds, it'll start growing through that gravel, a few little weed seeds. A little border garden thing, again, it complies with the minimum requirements of whatever's required under the law. Now I don't deny that these will be built on the most earthquake resistant foundations required, you know they'll comply with modern anti-earthquake code, you know building codes, they'll be insulated as required under the new laws, so they'll be good in that respect. Um, probably the better shot was from across the road, you, there's no real uh, solar aspect to sun gain here, this, this being the north face of the building, so um, you can look forward to getting you know, no real amount of sun in during winter. Well, no, 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 it hasn't been built to maximise the effect of the sun in winter. Remember, we're at 43 degrees south latitude here, so... They seem to be numbered 278, so it seems to be 1 through to 6. Um, so they've um, effectively all share a Barbados Street address. And just having a look here, um, I mean, we've got you know lots of nice concrete there. Not quite wide enough to put a car down there. Um, so this is their back doors. 
And I do remember reading something in the new council regulations that there must be room to store the rubbish bins. I'll try to get you a picture of them. Uh, and uh, clearly that's what this little area is here is for. Each place has its own little area. I'll just rotate around. And uh, just get you across the other side of the road there. It's uh, Boxing Day today, so not much traffic. Uh, that's one of our standard rubbish bins here. That's the larger size one. Um, so the people uh, in this council area, you tend to get a small green one, a medium sized red one, and that's that being the red one, and uh, and uh, an even larger yellow one. Although they, you can opt for, to have small bins for all of them. The uh, actually, I'll just point out over here just at the moment that. Uh, the house that's not there anymore, the house that you're not seeing on that corner section there, that all fell down during the 2011 earthquake and it fell onto all the parked cars that were along there because that's uh, that was unmetered parking, you know, free all day parking and just a, a couple of blocks walk into the central city and they all got half a building collapsed on them. Uh, it was actually under repair because it had been a little bit damaged in the earthquake uh, of September 2010. Um, and yeah, that's that was a famous shot, well it was much filmed on, on TV news. So here's these units and yeah I'm not I, I'm sure they compl well that's my point is that although they would comply with the minimum of the council's new requirements they only do comply with the minimum of the council requirements. Y you know we we know that good design is for things to be not just plain basic prison yard rectangles which these are uh, to make use of upstairs uh, balconies and little nooks which they don't have and haven't um, to have larger windows to the north to get uh, plenty of sun and warmth in during the winter which they don't have um, they have some windows to the north but they, they don't seem to have tried to maximize it at all really so um an, an uh, impractical garden well maybe you call it low maintenance but it doesn't seem to give you much food i guess all your food's going to come from the supermarket and if the army are there and food rationing or the supermarket runs out of food because of the next earthquake, well, you'll, you won't have any food. Anyway, this is my bit of a whinge. I don't know how much these will sell for. I know some further down the roads, which were a bit flasher, quite a bit flasher, and they sold for half a million each, over half a million each, over 500,000 New Zealand dollars each. Um, so, uh, not sure, but uh, here we go. This place has sat unrepaired since 2011. I see vandals have had a few windows out of it. And a chimney fell out, a piece of the wall fell out. But uh, Yeah. So, I mean, it's nice to see some rebuilding happening, but these could have had a nice design. They could have had a little upstairs balcony. They could have allowed some at least drive on access. Even so, at least a couple of the units had on-site parking, but you know, they wanted, obviously, to maximise the number of units they could have on a place. And if they have zero car parking, which they are now permitted to have, they could fit six units onto what we had previously just been two houses. So, yep, this is uh, Catherine, and uh, I think we'll call it quits here.